CapRing is one of the many popular online video editing tools on the market today. With its simple to use transcript based editing and baked in AI tools, there's just one question. Is CapWing the right online video editor for you? CapWing is known for its versatility. It can handle both long form and short form content, making it a one stop shop for various projects. The one thing I was not expecting from CapWing and kind of blew me away was their integrated recording feature. This lets you capture video, audio, and screen share all directly in the platform and has been surprisingly reliable. It is only limited to recording yourself and doesn't allow any remote recording of guests, but the ability to record and edit all in one place is definitely a benefit. And what's nice is if you're working through an edit and there is something you missed, you can easily pop open the recorder, record your new section, and Capwing drops that new recording right into your timeline for you. This prevents you from having to jump to another platform, record the section, download it, and then upload it into your editor so that you can continue working. Now the editing side is where things start to take a turn for me though. On one hand, Capwing's multimedia library sort of reminds me of Canva for video, with B-roll, images, and other elements right at your fingertips, which is a nice experience. But when it comes to actually editing your raw footage, Capwing quickly becomes complicated. Now I will say there is definitely a lot you can do with Capwing on the editing side, if you can find and understand where all the settings are. As an example, something that takes me seconds to do in Minvo, such as reframing my shot to make sure that my guest is more in line with the view of the video, took some intense investigating in Capwing just to pull off. Even with Capwing's speaker selection setting, it felt like I was doing a lot of manual recropping and dragging around just to try to get my guests to fit in the scene. And as much as I'm a sucker for the fun bells and whistles a platform like this can bring, the time spent manually struggling to make simple edits that I can quickly make in another platform makes it more difficult for me to jump on board. Capwing can bring a lot of horsepower, but to me feels less beginner friendly and very much like you have to spend some time learning the ins and outs of it before you can really become productive with the platform. This is very different from being able to just jump straight into a platform and quickly knock out short form content. And this is also why I keep coming back to a platform like Minvo. I already spent a considerable amount of time putting together my long form content, and the last thing I want to do is spend an equal amount of time repurposing that content. The fact that I can upload a video to Minvo and it takes care of 90% of the editing for me, that's the game changer for me in my opinion. And any adjustments I do want to make are easy to find and not nearly as overwhelming for a beginner who's new to editing. If you want to learn more about Minvo and how easy it is to use, check out this playlist right here. We have tons of how-to videos and tutorials to help you get started and make the most out of the platform. And if you head down to the description of this video, I even put a link so you can try Minvo completely free. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this.